Okay, well, good evening once again. We are here at uh, a restaurant. It's our third time here called Beaches at Volano. It's on Volano Beach, just outside of St. Augustine, Florida. And we are actually here this evening meeting up with some friends from back home. Uh, so we're gonna be uh, dining with some friends of ours from our church. Uh, so this is a place we've been to a couple times. This is our third time. Uh, it's always been good before, so we're gonna eat here again and uh, we'll give you a full review. Um, of what I will try to get what everybody gets this time all four of us. So um, Once again, we're gonna be get, eating supper here. I actually a late lunch and then we'll let you know how it goes Okay, everybody we're gonna go ahead and let you see the menu here um, Pretty variety. It's a, like a Caribbean style menu a lot of fish seafood chicken And I'll let you see some of the surrounding scenery. We are right here on the water, Matanzas Bay. Uh, the Intracoastal Waterway. Alright, so up here again. Here's the other side of the entrees. Get out of the shade here. Sorry about that. The wind catches it when you're out here on the water. All right, here's where we are again, beaches at Volano. Now, as I told you, we're meeting friends for supper. Now, if you have children, you may want to ask them to leave the room. I'm going to show them, so I just want to be, be prepared. If y'all are used to watching horror movies, that's fine. This is not going to bother you a bit. But this is, um, that's actually a couple from our church. This is Brother Mike McKinney and uh, Linda McKinney. The odd thing is we go to church with them back in North Carolina. Never have been out to eat with them, but exactly something right. about when we're both in Florida at the same time, we think we're supposed to meet that's up. Known as the Fletchers. The Fletchers, yeah, that's their nickname that our pastor has given them, and of course, y'all know Shaughnessy, and you know our traveling companions. So let me. We are right here below the Volano Bridge. This is going from the mainland of Florida, the city limits of St. Augustine, out to uh, Volano Beach. Y'all realize this used to be the old bridge. Yeah. And there's the Volano Fishing Pier. I actually fished on that a couple of years ago. How'd you do, Mike? You fished out there a little bit. Yeah, I fished some. I, you know, I never had caught anything to ride home. Did you catch anything today? I had not been out there today. Oh, okay. All right, but anyway, here's the view. Uh, let me pan back around this way. Out, outside seating area as well as indoor. And I already know what uh, we're going to be getting. We always get the same thing every time we come here. Tried a few things, but it's going to be the high tide tacos, flat iron steak, and you can read what it is. That's what we always get. Got the fish tacos last time, and they were pretty hot. So um, we're going to go back to the favorite. All right, we got the what was this called again? Something taco. Well, it's got flat iron steak in it, but anyway, I got the macaroni and cheese, and she got the same thing, flat iron tacos with onion rings, and Linda got the um, flat iron tacos with plantains right after I told her the plantains here weren't good. Some people do anything to spite you. Um, chicken tenders and looks like seasoned fries and hush puppies. And All a new, right. new glass of water since one was dumped on us. Yeah, I spilt water on, in her lap, and I'm not ever going to forget that. But I had just told her I'd had the fried plantains here, and they were not that good, so she orders them. So that's kind of tells you what we're dealing with. I will write so. my own review. All right. Okay, we're going to do this just a little bit differently. We just finished beaches. Yeah, we um, sit out there talking and kind of forgot to do our final review when they yeah, were there. So. Yeah, so we're going to do it as... <laughs> 
He's driving, so he's going to keep his eyes on the road. I'm going to try to watch the camera. I can still talk. You can still talk, yes. No problem with that. Um, but I'll start off. I had the flat iron. Was it called that? Flat no, iron? No, it was called something else. But I showed it on. Island Taco yeah. or something like that. But it was flat iron steak. Um, had cabbage. I think it said pickled cabbage, too. Um, I don't remember what, what's all on it. But I've, every time I've went. No, I take it back. I've had it there twice. And it's been amazing every time I've had it. Um, last time they didn't have it on the menu because of COVID. So I ended up getting. can't eat steak tacos. Right, yeah, no beef. So I had the uh, sun sh sunset shrimp tacos last time, and they were very spicy. But I love spicy, and it was good. It was good. But today my meal was excellent, just like always. Tell them what kind of sauce. I, I don't know how you pronounce it. A I O. -L -I it was a cilantro. Sauce lime something yeah. it was like in olive oil but it had some pretty good spices in it they gave it a really good kick, yeah, it had a good kick. I, I like it cleaned my plate it was amazing it was really good today i would say the same thing the macaroni and cheese is by far the best side i've had there um, i got the fried plantains before did not care for those so i got the macaroni and cheese today it was decent um, the only thing i will say today our, our waitress her name was leah very friendly very she sweet was. girl um, the service was a little slow today, and to not be any busier than they were, um, it took a long time for her to even come out there. Our friends were already there waiting on us ahead of time. It took a while for her to come out. Uh, once she did, no complaints about her service at all. Yeah, she was real nice. When yeah. she found out we were from North Carolina, she's like, oh, I vacationed in Blowing Rock, and, you know, went up to Grandfather Mountain. Up the road yeah, so she was all excited about that and telling us about that. So, yeah, she but was real nice. It took her food a while to arrive, and then... Uh, we were here a lot longer than we thought we would be. But we're heading back down to Flagler Beach now. See the water back behind us? We yeah. were just out there eating on the water. Yeah, we're going back over to the mainland into the city limits of St. Augustine. Mm -hmm. um, uh, St. Augustine's a beautiful place. Right, right, over, right over in that area. So yeah. You can actually switch it over. I will. All right, we're going to be riding back through there. So we'll include a uh, ride through St. Augustine at the end of this review. So thank you for watching. And that's our review of beaches on Milano. We do um, recommend it. I would Absolutely. do it again. All right. It's very good.